everybody, welcome to Just Like Him. The song that we're about to sing is taken from the words of Jesus when he said, I am the door, by me if any man enter in, he shall be saved. Jesus also said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man comes to God the Father except through me. So let's rejoice and find eternal life in Jesus Christ. shall be saved and go in and out and find pasture I am the door by me if any man enter in he shall be saved and go in and out and find pasture but the thief only comes steal, kill, destroy. The thief only comes to steal, kill, destroy. I have come that you might have life more abundantly. I have come that you might have life more abundantly. I am the door by me if any man enter in he shall be saved and go in and out and find pasture in Jesus there is life in Jesus there is life he is the only Jesus, there is life. He is the only way. He's the only way. He's the only way. He's the only way. way. Amen. Hallelujah. And welcome to another episode of Just Like Him. Truly, Jesus Christ is the only way and you've tuned into the right channel because you're going to hear lots of good things about God's Word. Amen. So stay tuned. You're really going to enjoy it. That's right. Amen. We've been singing about eternal life and we've been talking also about eternal life. Eternal life is the God kind of life that God has provided for us through the sacrifice of Jesus. That's right. And it's not only life after death alone. It is that, a promise and assurance that we will live with Jesus forever, but it's also abundant life here on earth. Like in the song that we sang, mm. abundant life. Yeah. Jesus came to this earth to give us abundant life. That's right. In Jesus Christ only can we truly find life. Mm. Because without Jesus, life really has no meaning and purpose. Yeah. But thank God that, you know, you can really hear about Jesus and realize that He wants to give you a brand new life. Yeah. A life that no other man can give. Yeah, abundant Praise life God. is basically, you know, a fullness of life here on the earth. Mm. You know, God came to save us from our sins and to give us peace in our hearts. Peace is part of the abundant life that God has promised to give us. And another aspect of it is joy. Jesus came to give us joy. Mm. And we don't have to be sorrowful all the time, but we can rejoice. In times of sorrow and in times of defeat and failure, God promises that He will never leave us nor forsake mm. us. So because of that assurance, we can constantly rejoice in the Lord. And also, abundant life, part of it is healing. You know, healing in our physical body. Yeah, that's good. Freedom from sickness and disease. Jesus, on His body, on the cross, He took all sickness and all disease, and He provided healing for us. That's right. And we've been talking about the love of God, and three simple words that can truly change your life is that God loves you. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes you may have heard that, but you don't know the reality of it. And so we see that the Bible teaches us a lot of good things about the love of God. And even if you never heard about the love of God, well, today you can hear it because God truly loves you. Yeah. And last time we spoke about how 
God draws us through His loving kindness. Mm. He doesn't draw us out of condemnation and out of what we've done and the mistakes we've made. Mm. He draws us out of His loving kindness because yeah. that's His nature. God mm. is love. He came to give us a new life, mm. a new kind of life and even experience a new kind of love. And um, I'm just impressed to read the scripture in Romans 3.23. It says, Romans 6.23, it says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Mm, it's, See, a the, gift. it's a gift. It's a gift. Eternal life is a gift. The first part says the wages of sin is death. You know, constantly living a life without God, you know, can lead to sorrow and misery and death. But Jesus, He doesn't want us to continue to live like that. So He provided a way. Jesus is the Son of God and He made a way for us to be free mm. from evil. And you know, in this world, we cannot stop evil completely, but we can enjoy life in Jesus through the sacrifice that He made for us. You know, Jesus in the Bible, He said, in the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Mm. And He also promised us peace in this world. So in the midst of all kinds of whatever surrounding situations you may be in, we can have assurance of the peace of God. Yeah, that's that's really good. Mm. Having an assurance in your life is, it's really important, otherwise yeah. you're just dragging and living life for no reason. Yeah. And that's the amazing thing about Jesus, what He has come to do for us, hmm. is He has come to give us an assurance to live in life. Yeah. And you know, in this episode, we want to talk about eternal life and go really into detail about what this life is all about. Hmm. You remember last time we talked about the Samaritan woman hmm. and how we see how Jesus came and gave her a brand new life. Yeah. And he described the life as everlasting life. Yeah. And you might say, what does that mean, everlasting life? I mean, it's not just an ordinary kind of life. And neither is it a life that is up in the air or something. It's a life that is um, in tune to God's voice. It's a life that is full of everything that God wants you to have in life. Yeah. That's what everlasting life is. Yeah. And like even as you read in Romans 6.23, the second part says, the gift of God is eternal life. Mm. And I like when it says the gift of God. Yeah. Because you didn't have to earn that gift. That's I mean, right. you just imagine, you get a gift and yeah. you don't ask the person, can I pay you something? Yeah. You know, it's a gift. Mm. You just receive it. Yeah. And it's so and simple. It's yeah. not only because you deserve it. Mm. You get gifts because somebody loves you. Mm. And Jesus gave us His gift of eternal life to enjoy life here on the earth and even after, after living on this earth. He gave it to us as a gift because we didn't deserve it. See, everything we did was wrong. I mean, we made mistakes before. Well, we would have done some good things, but Jesus said, you know, there's, God says there's a standard of perfection and only Jesus was able to keep that. And so by receiving Jesus Christ, you know, we receive this gift free of charge even though we didn't deserve Free it. Free of charge, yeah. yeah. We Jesus, didn't deserve it. Yeah, this abundant life. And Jesus, but the thing you need to understand is that Jesus, He had to pay a heavy price. Oh, yeah. Even though we get the gift freely, He mm. had to do the big part of it and yeah. die on the cross. Because He knew we couldn't do that. No, we couldn't do that. Mm. But He decided, I'm going to take their place. Yeah. And once they receive what I have done, they're going to get this gift. Yeah. And it is everlasting life. Yeah. And so we see that is what everlasting life is. It's a gift of God. Yeah. It's something that you didn't earn, but all you had to do was believe, yeah. right? And so it's not just, well, it's a life that is in fellowship with the Father, I would say. That's yeah. what everlasting life is, yeah. right? See, remember how in the beginning when man sinned and made a mistake, and that's the reason why Jesus had to come to this earth, because He wanted to restore that fellowship back. Mm -hmm. But the price for that was pretty heavy. Yeah. So he paid the price and by doing so, he restored man back in fellowship with God. Yeah. And when you believe in Jesus, you receive this gift of everlasting life. Yeah. Let's go to another scripture talking about everlasting life. Okay, so now one thing that you need to remember is that everlasting life is 
Well, first of all, you receive Jesus and then you can be assured you're going to heaven. That's mm -hmm. a part of everlasting life. Yeah. But the other thing is that everlasting life is also something we can enjoy on this earth. Yeah. It's not only when you get to heaven and you mm -hmm. say, well, I received Jesus in my heart, but then I just still have to live life. Yeah. That's pretty miserable, yeah. right? If you don't have somebody guiding you and leading you, mm. then it's miserable. Then you that, only have to look why, to the future. Yeah, that's why Jesus sent us His Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God Himself, to live on the inside of us. And He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. See, Jesus, when He was going to the cross before that, He tells His disciples, I know you are sorrowing now and you are sad because um, the disciples, they experienced so much of good things when Jesus was on the earth. He was healing people, delivering people of devils, and he was saving people. He was forgiving people's sins, right? And so they were having a really good time with Jesus. And then Jesus said, I'm going, I'm going to the Father, I'm, but, and, and I'm going to prepare a place for you, but I'm not going to leave you comfortless. Mm. I'm going to send the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, mm. to be with you and to abide with you forever. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit is our assurance that we can enjoy the Jesus life here on this earth. That's right. And so we describe everlasting life as it's a gift of God. There's all kinds of good things in it, yeah. right? There's healing in everlasting life. You can be free from sickness. Mm -hmm. And then there's other things like, um, you know, joy yeah. and peace satisfaction yeah. that's all a part of everlasting life mm. what an amazing gift that jesus has given us yeah and so we see in john 17 3 it describes another aspect of what everlasting life is mm. let's look at john 17 3 it says and this is life eternal or everlasting life that they might know you the only true god and jesus christ whom you have sent mm. so we see here that it tells us everlasting life is to know Jesus. That word know is have a personal relationship with Jesus. Yeah. It's so amazing to realize that when you come to God, you can have a personal relationship with Him. Yeah. Just think about that. Yeah. Like, I have a relationship with you and sometimes I know what you're going to say, right? Yeah. Even before you say it, yeah. because we have a relationship. Right. And it's the same when you have a relationship with God, you're going to hear His voice. It's going to be very clear to you. Like, you're not going to say, God, is it you talking to me? Mm. You're going to have this one-on-one -on -one conversation with Him. Maybe yeah. you have to make some decisions and the Lord says, okay, do it this way. That's yeah. having a relationship with mm. Him. That's what Jesus says. That is what life everlasting is, yeah. is to have a relationship with your Father. Yeah, and it, and it says here to know the only true God. And the true God is referring to true love. God is the only one who can provide true love for you and true joy and true peace. And so we see to know the true God is, is so amazing because, you know, um, like I said here, true love. If you have never felt love in your life and nobody has ever shown love to you, when you come into this relationship with God by believing in the perfect sacrifice that Jesus made for you, He paid your sin debt. And when you say, Lord Jesus, I accept you as my Lord and I believe that you rose again from the dead, you can experience true love. Yeah. And the love of God, we mentioned this before, is everlasting. Mm. You know, God's love can surround you and comfort you. So knowing the true God is to know true love, to know true peace, to know true joy. Yeah, and, and remember, it's not only for some people. Yeah. It's for everybody who just says, I want to believe in Jesus. That's yeah. how simple it is. Mm. So number one, everlasting life is to have a fellowship with the Father, mm. is to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Him. Yeah. And then the other amazing thing about everlasting life, it is a life full of meaning and purpose. Right. Like every day you wake up in the morning and you have a reason to live. You're yeah. not just letting life control you. You have this new meaning and purpose to live. Yeah, and you yeah. talked about hearing God's voice a um, little bit before and how you can have this fellowship with God and hearing His voice. See, I told you the Holy Spirit whom Jesus sent to live on the inside of us 
Jesus talked about him and said, he's going to be with you forever. He's going to lead you and guide you. So we're not alone here on this mm -hmm. earth. And also we're not directionless. We're not purposeless. We have a reason to live. And Jesus wants to direct us and guide us every step of the way. And one of the ways we can recognize his voice is by reading his word, the Bible. Mm. And this is one of the ways he talks to us. See, how can I recognize what Jesus is saying or if it's me who is talking like this or, you know, if it's the enemy? Well, when you go to the word, Jesus always says, I am love and I love you. Jesus will never say, I hate you. I'm angry with you. Jesus no, will he'll never say he'll that. Never say that. Jesus will say um, things like, no, I'm going to be with you forever. When thoughts of loneliness come into your mind and you say, well, nobody loves me, nobody is with me, you know, I'm all alone here or I'm afraid, mm. you know, you can know for sure that's not your Heavenly Father speaking to you. That's that a way not, to distinguish the voice of God. That's a way to distinguish. Yeah. That is not the true God speaking to you. He will say, hey, I'm with you always. I'm, I've promised to be with you till the end of the world. Yeah. Those are the ways that you can recognize the voice of God. Whatever He has spoken in His Word is how He's going to communicate to us. And if it's not, you know, uh, in line with the scriptures or in line with what Jesus says, then that means it's not the Father's voice. Yeah, that's true. That's a good way you to You can recognize. distinguish the Father's voice because He won't condemn you. Yeah. He will only lead you and guide you gently. Yeah, and, and another thing is, you know, when you make a mistake, He will correct you mm -hmm. and He will say, this is not the way to do it, you know, do it this way. And He won't condemn you in the sense, you know, He won't constantly make you feel bad for what you did. And like we saw the Samaritan woman before, you know, she was free from shame and guilt and condemnation because she came in touch with Jesus. So we find now the way to recognize God's voice is, see, when you make a mistake, you know, God will say, I love you, don't do this again. Go and like he told people in the gospels, go and sin no more. And he will say, do it this way. And he will correct us. See, he's a father. That's a part of everlasting yeah. life is to have a fellowship with the father. Yeah. Like you said, so hearing his voice. Yeah. So we don't really have to complicate everlasting life. Right. It's very simple. Mm. All you got to say is, well, Lord, I know everlasting life means that I can have a fellowship with you. Yeah. And everlasting life is a life where you can have a life full of meaning and purpose. Yeah. And everlasting life is a gift. So what do you get in a gift? Well, in God's gift, you get joy, you get peace, you get um, love. That's unconditional mm. love, by the and way. it's available yeah. to everybody. It's available to everybody. Jesus. All you got to do is just say, Lord, I receive this gift of everlasting life. Yeah. And you know, maybe you feel like your life is like there is no meaning and purpose at all. Mm. But then all you got to do is say, Lord, I want to have a life of meaning and purpose. Mm. And just in brief, I want to give you an example of another um, person in the Bible who he received a life full of meaning and purpose. This mm. is what happened to him. Well, he was a man full of demons and possessed. And the Bible says mm -hmm. that he was, um, he, nobody could chain him up or tie him up because he was, he was such a demonized person. Nobody could control him. And so we see Jesus comes from one side of the other corner, comes right to see this man. And he delivers him of the demon, sets the man free. And we see after that, this man received a new life. Right, a life full of meaning and purpose. Yeah. All this time he was, you know, bound, unable to be bound up, just full of demons, and nobody could keep him in one place. Yeah. But Jesus comes and sets him free. Yeah. And you can see from that he receives what Jesus did for him. Yeah. The Bible says that he came back to his right mind. Yeah. I love that statement. Yeah. He was off his mind all this time, but Jesus brought him back to his right mind. Yeah. Just imagine, you might feel like, you. sometimes you might feel you're in that position. I'm losing my mind. And even if you're in that position, God wants to set you free. Mm. He wants to bring you back to your right mind, just yeah. like he did for that man. And then we see that this man, he was able to have a new life. I believe that was everlasting life. Yeah. I believe he received that life because see, that's what Jesus does. He can change your life completely. Yeah. And from that example, I see that part of everlasting life is to have a right mind, mm. a sound mind. 
Yeah. And to have peace of mind, that's a part of the gift of everlasting life, yeah, is to good. have peace of mind. Yeah. Because sometimes things in this world, they are putting us down and trying to weigh us down and take our attention off of God. But we see that a part of God's life is to be at peace, mm. right? When everything around you is going wrong and there's trouble and all kinds of things, God says, I want to give you peace of mind. That's a part of everlasting life. Mm. There's so many good things about everlasting life. We have already seen, um, number one, we see that it's to have fellowship with the Father, right? Mm. To know Him one-on-one, -on -one, just like John 17, 3 said. And then we went first to the scripture in Romans, Romans 6, 23. It's a gift. Yeah, it's a gift. To it's a gift. So a gift. when you break it down and you think the gift consists of joy, peace, love mm. and all kinds of good things yeah. and next time we want to continue more on this subject of everlasting life and going deeper into the subject of how much God loves you mm. so very quickly if you want to have this life all you need to do is pray a very simple prayer and yeah. you can repeat it after us let's yeah. pray dear Heavenly Father I come before you in Jesus name I receive your gift of everlasting life I ask you to come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Make me a new person. I want to live my life for you from this day forward. Thank you, Father, for forgiving me of all my sins. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. So you can believe today that Jesus has come to live in your heart. And you can have this everlasting life.